What's up, y'all? Uh, I was just on the elevator with uh, a lady that lives in the same apartment complex as me, and she, uh, I see her every so often, you know, uh, you know, just passing by in the hallway, and we stay on two different floors. But I got a friend that stays on the floor at the top of the building, and I stay on, like, the fourth floor. So uh, she was like, yeah, I know you. She was like, I always see you all the time, and you are with that one girl, that white girl. And I said, no, I was like, that's just one of my close friends. And she made a face like, mm hmm, like you lying. And I said, no. And as soon as I said no, my, I was on my floor. So as I was getting off the elevator, I told her, I said, I like men. And she, she looked and she was like, are you serious? She said, oh my God, you still fine though. <laughs> it, it just made me laugh because the worst thing I could have ever done was, uh, find the confidence, the courage in myself. You know, I never was confident growing up of what I liked and who I wanted to be with. And now that I have that, there's nothing that anybody can say or do to stop me, you know, from what I like or being myself. So, oh, that's much better light. Fluorescent light is way better on my skin. But there is nothing nobody can say or do to ever change how I feel or what I like now. I've built my confidence too much in myself. You know, I, I, as I was growing up, you know, uh, that was one thing that kind of wasn't uh, given in my family. You know, you always hear I love you or you handsome. And I mean, that's nice, but you're going to need more of that as a kid. You really need someone to boost your self-esteem. And I mean, my mom always was there, but that's just not something that was, you know, instilled in me. So I never always felt comfortable enough with who I was and what I liked. But Trust me, I feel very comfortable and confident in myself now. So it just, it, and it, the, I just, when I got in my apartment, I couldn't even believe I had said it like that. Cause I just, I don't know where I said, I like men, you know, and she was like, what? But I was like, damn, you know, I mean, I still like women too, but I should have told her, you know, I'm bisexual or something, which it really don't matter. But, you know, but I just like, dang, I really just said that with no problem, you know, and I felt good saying it. So, um, I guess the point of this video is be comfortable in who you are and, uh, you know, love yourself and don't care about how anybody else feel, what they have to say, because it does not matter. You know, as long as you as long as you are comfortable with you, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You got to you have to love yourself first. People are not going to like everything that you do, you know, and I mean, hey, it is what it is. But I mean, this is your life and you have to answer for the choices that you make. So it doesn't matter about how anybody else feel. You know, everybody has their own beliefs and everybody does wrong. Everybody does something that somebody doesn't like. You know, church people are always quick to judge, but they do stuff that they shouldn't do either. And I, I doubt they talk about that. You know, so, hey, it is what it is. But live your life. Be true to who you are. And don't be ashamed about nothing you got going on. You know, uh, there's really nothing nobody can say to me to tear me down. You can say whatever you want. And of course, I might second, I might think on it a second time, but I'm not going to let it get to me because I spend too much time in this bathroom. I spend too much time right there. I spend way too much time in the mirror, convincing myself, motivating myself, building myself up. So when I leave out of this house, there's nothing that no one else can say about me to tear me down. So, hey, if you don't like something about me, it is what it is. Like right now, my face is just as pure as it as it can be. You know, I got acne marks. I got little bumps and stuff here. You know, I got acne. Uh, you see, I'm two-tone and I love every part of me because none of this defines who I am. Because at the end of the day, all of this right here that you got that I got going on beats any nigga that looks better than me out in the streets. I know a lot of good looking niggas. Should I sleep with a lot of good looking niggas that ain't got shit going on with themselves? Some ain't got no fucking jobs. Some are strung out and just want to do drugs. All I say strung out, but, you know, spend all their money on weed, smoking, drinking, party, running the streets, living off women. I, I deal with a lot of those stupid dudes that do that. Cute as hell, but they ain't got their life together. So, hey, if I got problems, if I got acne marks, two-tone, if I'm fat, too skinny, too ugly, whatever it is, I'm living just fine and I don't need nobody help with shit. So, love yourself. Uh you know, and be comfortable who you are. This video wasn't supposed to be that long, but it turns into a more uh, inspirational thing, motivational thing, because I didn't have that growing up. You know, my mom always would tell me, oh, you're handsome and stuff, but 
you know, I mean, sometimes I always thought that's just something parents are supposed to say because you're a damn parent. You know, that's something you're supposed to tell your kids, you know, but you have to really believe that about yourself. You know, I, I won't let nobody tear me down. I won't. You know, I, I one thing about it, my own grandmother, she sucked at supporting and, and motivating and building people up, you know, so I had to find that somewhere else. And that was outside of my house. That was in myself, you know, and so, hey, but um, that's all I really wanted. I'm about to get off of here. Y'all take it easy. All right. Bye.